So hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tim Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over generic functions in Swift 2. Now in order to understand what generic functions are and what problem they solve, let's take a simple example. Let's say we were to create a few functions, uh, or actually one function currently, uh, which is um, int equal. Okay, and this takes two integers and returns whether or not they're equal. Okay. Now, this is a very simple function, and it has some functionality to it. Exactly, that's why it's called a function. Okay, now, this works for integers, right? Now, let's create one for strings, because, of course, you want to check if integers are equal, you want to check if strings are equal. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to say str uh, equal, uh, which takes two strings, uh, and it returns whether or not they're equal. Okay, now we have one for strings and we have one for integers. Why not have one for doubles, right? Because we have to do decimals as well. Uh, so we're going to say double equal, uh, which takes two doubles and returns whether or not they're equal again. Okay, now this is just going to keep continuing on and on and on and on for each type we have, right? And now there's a quick problem. You may have already noticed this. There are way too many functions for us to create for every single type of number or string or data type in general. There will be for one for NS data. There would be one for literally any type, to be completely honest. Uh, and so in order to solve this, we use something called generics. Now you may be wondering, how would generics help us solve this problem? Well, let me explain. Let's take this example. First of all, let's see integer, string, and double. What class do they all inherit from? Well, there's one answer, equatable. They also inherit from e comparable, but we'll talk about that later. Now, in Swift, equatable is a class that determines if this, if this is inherited by a class, if a class inherits from this, then this class has to, first of all, override some uh, methods from this protocol. By the way, equatable is a protocol, not a class, if I made that mistake. It's a protocol, uh, which if uh, other classes conform to, uh, then they have to implement some methods. Uh, and then there's a way to check if two of these types are equal, as the name equatable says. Uh, and so this is a default in Swift. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about Swift 1, but Swift 2, of course, yes it is. Uh, and so now what we want to do is we're going to create something called a generic function. What this is going to do, essentially, uh, is this will take uh, a t variable, not a variable from the, the user won't have to fill out the t variable. But there's going to be an imaginary t over here, okay? And now what we're also going to do is we're going to make sure that t inherits from uh, equatable. Okay, and then we're going to do something I think you can understand already, t equal. We could just do equal, but, um, but, but you know, just for this example so you understand, we're going to continue the pattern and say t equal. And it's going to take two t's and it's going to return whether or not these two t's are equal. And the reason we know that these two t's can be compared I in equal terms is because it inherits from the equatable protocol. And so, instead of having to create types, like uh, functions to compare each and every single different type, we just create one function that takes two any types that are equatable compares them, returns them to you in one function. You solve your messy code problem, you solve pretty much every other problem that all of these have. 
And now, in order to actually show you how this works, I'm going to be going to the Mac part where I will show you some example code in the playground. And of course, as always, this will be in the description uh, in the uh, on GitHub uh, as a repository, uh, so you can check out the code for yourself. But for now, let's get to the Mac part uh, in which I will be showing you a quick and simple playground uh, which helps you solve the generic function issue. So let's get to it.